What's up guys? Welcome back to part two of this tutorial series. In this part, I'm going to teach you how to create the header section of the website. So basically the menu, the text, the buttons and the background image. So uh, to get started, you want to open up MobiRace. And once it's done loading, you want to head over to the left side of the screen and you want to click on sites and create new site. I'm just going to call mine tutorial and select the Moby Rice 3 theme. Click OK and you will get a blank slate. Uh, now you want to go to the add block to page button and select full screen intro, which will give you a background image with some text on top of it. So to change the background image, go to block parameters and click the image and you get to either choose from their online library or you can browse your computer, which I'm gonna do. So select the image you want, click open and click OK and it will automatically change the image for you. So as you can see now, we have a couple of problems here if we compare it to the finished product. Uh, the first one is that all the text is aligned to the center if we look at the finished product, you can see everything is aligned to the right. And um, it's kind of hard to read the text because the background is too bright. And finally, we have two buttons instead of one. So let's get started fixing all these problems by going to block parameters and choose content align instead of center, change it to right, and it will move all your text over to the right side. And then uh, to remove the button, you want to click on the one that you want to remove and then choose remove. And that gets rid of the button for you. Now <clears throat> we want to change the color of the remaining button. And you can do that by either clicking on the button and changing the color from here. Or you can go to edit style and change the primary color of the website to whatever you want. So I'm going to go with the red. Uh, the difference between the two methods is if you do it in here, it's only going to change the color for this button. So if you create, say, if you have 10 buttons on your website, you have to manually change the color for every single one. But if you do it in here, it's going to set the default color to red. So either way works. It's really up to you which one you want to choose. So with that done, we want to change the text so it says, says the same thing and I'm just going to copy paste this to save uh, a little bit of time so I'll copy paste and uh, I'll copy paste the dummy text as well copy paste okay so now we want to take care of the problem where it's kind of hard to read the text you can see that it's sort of blending in with the background a little bit and the way you do that is by going to block parameters again and create an overlay and you want to bring down the opacity a little bit. But as you can see now, it's really easy to see the text, but the background is kind of dark. So bring down the opacity to maybe 0 0.3. And if we compare this to the finished product, you can see that it doesn't look quite the same. This one is a bit darker. This one is a bit brighter. So <clears throat> uh, the reason why that is, is if we go back to block parameter and you see the color of the overlay is set to black, in my example, I have it set to a bit of a brownish color. So just change it to sort of a gray brown, something like that. And you can see that it looks pretty much the same. And <clears throat> yeah, so that's basically it for this part. Now we just need to create the menu on top. To do that, go to add block to page and select the transparent menu or if you want the solid color ones, um, take the one underneath, but I'll go with the transparent one, drag it in. And <clears throat> now we want to change the name uh, to, I'll change it to tutorial. And to change the logo, you simply click on it and you can either choose to um, have an image or an icon. I'm gonna use an icon, so click the thumbs up button and you will be presented with a lot of different icons that you can choose from. Well, I'm just gonna use the same one I had in the finished website. So type in running 
select the running icon insert icon and there you go so that's pretty much it for part two of the tutorial in part three i'll show you how to create the rest of the website so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in part three